This brief video is intended to show the new interoperability between AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 and Autodesk Revit 2010. In Revit we can now export a new file format called an ADSK file or a design package file. In the creation of that file we can choose as much or as little of the model that is intended to be brought in this case to Civil 3D. So I'll in Civil 3D I'll, from the insert tab under the import panel we'll go ahead and tell it to choose a import the building site. We get then a wizard that will walk us through the process. The first pane here will allow us to select the particular ADSK file that we're going to bring forth. Now please make note that this file is only 853 kilobytes, very very small, significantly smaller in size than what we would have traditionally gotten from Revit. Lots of information that we probably didn't need nor want. Uh, on this first pane as well, we'll see a new viewing capability which will allow us to rotate the model and once I release the view cube, we'll see the model in its full 3D perspective. I can go back to the top view and, and it points out that this is a multi-view enabled object that will look different from different perspectives. I can provide a name for the building site. Going to the subsequent panes, we can see that I have the units information about the site and where I'm working in my current drawing. I can control the appearance of the site via a style so it is an intelligent object that will respond to styles like every other civil 3D object. And on the last screen here I can control whether I wish to specify how to place the site down into my drawing uh, on the screen or in this case I'm going to go ahead and type in very exact location for the site object. There would be the northing, here's the easting, the elevational location and the rotation for the building itself. Once I'm ready I'll go ahead and choose finish and because it is a very um, small model we'll see that it, uh, it gets placed very very quickly into the site and we see it both uh, in its 2D footprint and in the 3D representation on the site.